get this done. His knee is not good. And uh, so Monday we find out um, the day of his, his surgery. So that will be great. And uh, uh, I, I know they had told us that they've got room for him on December 20th, which is the, this coming Tuesday. I don't know if they'll let him do that. But if not, it'll probably be January 3rd. So I'm just really happy and grateful that, that this is finally going to get moving. Um, yeah, tomorrow morning, we have a really big, big morning. Tomorrow is our surgery day. Um, Dr. Darcy has not done our surgeries here for us, so it'll be different for her. Plus, instead of doing them in what was our clinic, we're doing them here in the big rescue or in the big office. So that's going to be different for all of us. <laughs> yeah, Nuki, I'm going to hold them up to the cam. I like that. <laughs> And uh, so it, we might be a little bit slower tomorrow, but you guys will probably get to see some of the action, not the surgery action, but the in and outs of the kitties freshly after surgery. We're going to start at 9. We'll start the um, physicals at 9 and get started on the boy cats and get on the girls. And yet, Karen is feeling better. She is not 100%, but she is feeling better. So... Um, Let's get cracking on these boxes. Did you all see who's here tonight with us? We got I Nika brought Roth. cats up. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Yep, yeah, we got Nika Roth and, um, and uh, yeah, he's, he's all approved. And then I'll show you the two new kitties after our boxes. So, oh, that thing does that to me every time. It doesn't matter, focus. Good matter, focus. Huh? Oh, you know what? Before it gets any later, though, it's already a little late for Fierce Medicine. She really ought to have it now. Yes, it is. It's time. And then after, um, after we get done with our surgeries tomorrow, then I've got to make a fast. I'm going to make a fast drive to Fort Wayne, my oldest one has a uh, birthday tomorrow and we're gonna I guess Karen and Christy and my kids and I are all gonna go out and celebrate her birthday so that will be very much fun so we have three four boxes Kurt is that what you have oh plus this is the refrigerator oh yeah and I forgot about that. this came today too which I tried and tried and tried to talk Connie into opening this up while I was at the movies and call me and tell me what was in it, but she wouldn't, she wouldn't give. She wouldn't budge. So this one is from Amazon, I think. Yep. What you want, if you rub? Uh, what you want? She says, I think there's some pill pockets or something in there for me. No pill pockets for you tonight. Are you going to help me? Uh, Hey, if our, oh, yay. Oh, look at this. Can you guys see that? Isn't that the cutest thing down here? Um, Carolina, you going to do our thing here? Uh, this is, it says, our gift to our rescue center with love, uh, Bubbles Ladu. Bubbles Ladu. And, whoop, are you okay? Yeah. Come on. Here's Tweenie. Tweenie's starting to think about knitting her winter coat for Colorado. We've got litter, which we very much need litter all the time. Sometimes I tell the kitties they're not going to get food so that we use less litter. So now you guys can potty. Oh, we got posty notes. Thank you very much. I love using my posty notes. I don't think I could function without posty notes. And we also have a case of savory salmon of the Fancy Feast. Um, so thank you. I like I like all of you guys' cam names. Bubbles la bu Bubbles la do. So thank you for that. I appreciate that so very much. We'll get our Fancy Feast restocked. And because you kitties make such a mess, you guys worry me. And we're not going to make methods tonight. Hey, Kurt, did you get that? Was that cord ordered? Cord ordered, do you yeah, know? 
Okay. Uh, but if I find the route, the uh, the hub that we were using before, I can look at the to the to the hub, and that'd be like it was. Okay. Is that something I, I, I should? Down, I think it was down in one of those cages. It was down there. I think. Did you move stuff out of there? Um, I don't believe I did. Um, it should, this, be, it should be around here someplace. Okay, maybe in that three drawer thing left of the desk. Okay. This is from Robin H. And Robin is from Georgia. And she sent this herself. Usually there's a string. Yep, there it is. So Robin, Robin H. from Georgia. just a minute. Oh, Putter got his own letter. Dear Putter, just wanted to add to your holiday cheer. Check that out. That's Putter on there. And here's her baby. Our new baby, Noelle, she was rescued out of a tree that she had been stuck in for three days. She was at my vet's office and I fell in love and had to have her. Isn't she a beauty? This one is half-baked, enjoying the fall weather. Poor baby, stuck up in a tree for three days. You wonder what they think. It's sad. And this one's called Little Girl enjoying the fall weather. What a beautiful cat. And this one is our big boy Squeak. He squeaks every time you pick him up. That sounds like our Asha girl. She squeaks and I always tell her that. Are you going to squeak when I pick you up? Oh, and this is her cat Boomer. Boomer must have passed away. They miss him. What a beauty. I love seeing cats lay on their backs. And Nancy, oh, can you see what Nancy, I think, is a cat? Can you see what Peaches is? Is a rat. <laughs> oh, I love that. And our new baby, Noelle. Oh, that's the that's the one that was in the tree. Cool. Thank you. I love, sh I love seeing all the all the um, pictures. It says, my name is Nancy R., which is the name that was given to me at the Humane Society, uh, where I used to live with my sister, Barbara Bush. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Let me start over. Hi, dear sweet putter. My name is Nancy Reagan, which is the name that was given to me at the Humane Society, where I used to live with my sister, Barbara Bush, who got adopted before I did. When my humans came to the Humane Society looking for a kitty, they didn't notice me at first. They kept looking at all the pretty fluffy kitties. After watching them and their two young boys and seeing how nice they were, I decided I wanted to go home with them. I jumped up on the mom's shoulders first. Okay. All right. You go on there. Okay. Love you. Sorry. Okay. I'll see you later. <laughs> Let's do it. Um, I jumped up on my mom's shoulders first, then went to my dad's, and then to the two boys, making sure I loved on all of them. I was trying to show them how beautiful and sweet I was, and even though I was only four months old, I did my best to behave in front of them. Well, they finally noticed me. Don't you think that, that sometimes what happens here is these kitties just get right in people's faces like it's me, it's me that you're supposed to adopt? When they finally noticed me and played with me and then took me home with them. After living with all those other kitties, I had a big house all to myself with lots of soft places to sleep and room to run all over the place. I was on cloud nine until one day my humans came home with this little black fluffy brat who kept bothering me and trying to get me to play. The humans informed me that his name was Boomer, not Little Pratt, but I let him know real quick who was boss in this house. 
Well, I finally let him be my friend, but he still always knew his place. After 14 years of just Boomer and I, our humans came home with three new cats they agreed to take when their human could no longer care for them. Their names are Squeak, Half-Baked, and Little Girl. By this time, I was too old to care, but I did not. But I did let them know that I was in charge and to behave themselves. Then last November, I lost my buddy Boomer, who passed away peacefully. I sure do miss him a lot. Then my human mom left one day and came home with a kitten that looked a lot like me. It was kind of scary at first, but she actually... But she's actually a lot of fun to play with, although I have a hard time keeping up with her. The new, new kitty's name is Noelle because my human brought her home right after Christmas time last year. Noelle told me that she had been stuck in a tree for three days before she was rescued by a worker from the vet's office. She said she was very scared, thirsty, and hungry by the time she was rescued. I'm glad she came to live with us in our warm and loving home. Well, Potter, I just wanted to let you know how much I admire you and how well you handle those kitties at FFRC. Yeah, he whacks, whacks, whacks. I watch you with my human mom every day and love it when you give those kitties a good whack to remind them who's the boss at FFRC. I also find you very handsome, and if I was a little younger, shh, but I'll be 17 years old soon, and if I lived a little closer, I'd make my human take me to FFRC to visit you. He goes, wink, wink. I have enclosed a picture of my buddy Boomer and some of my servants, or I mean friends. Oh, did I mention that I also have three other friends who are rats? I have lots of fun playing with them, Putter. There is a picture of me with one of them my human took one day when we were playing. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas, Putter, and don't let those crazy humans embarrass you with all those silly hats. Well, at least try. Good luck. I, I'd be watching Cutie Pie. Love, Nancy. Say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Thank you, Nancy Reagan. Thank you for sharing that. I love that. You know, and the volunteers are getting such a kick out of all these cards. They are loving it. And this is Jackie Volunteers, Kitties, and Chatters. You guys are getting cards, too. Oh, check that out. Oh, I this one's a cool card. Yeah, Putter has admirers. Disclaimer, no animals were harmed during the making of this card. The photographer, however, is in serious but stable condition and may be able to leave the hospital by New Year's. Robin and Robin's uh, cam name is Miss Chi San, M-S-C-H-I-S-A-N, Miss Chi San. Thank you, Robin, and I appreciate your donation. Um, and this is a donation, too, for naming a cat boomer for a strong male cat. And also donation to use any way you want. Wish I could do do more, Robin. Oh, you guys are all awesome. Your support is astronomical. Uh, I'll write that down. I, I keep track of these names. Um, I try real hard to keep good track of everything. And since this one is one I have to follow up on, I'm going to put this over here. Don't take that, kitty. And, see now, is this what came out of there? I teach... Robin Robin says, I teach a Georgia State Lottery-funded pre-K class in Georgia. I've been telling my class all about FFRC and showing them the kitty cam when we have a little extra time. I was telling them all about Hannah the other day and how people were sending her lots of Christmas cards. Some of the kids asked me if they could draw a Hannah a picture and asked if I would send them to her. Here are several pictures some of the kids drew for Hannah. They were very proud of their pictures and hope. Hannah will like them. I left them out so you and the volunteers could look at them before you sent them on. I have enclosed an envelope to put them in when you get ready to mail them off. Thank you and the volunteers for loving and caring for these beautiful cats. You are all angels sent from heaven. And thank you to all the viewers who send in donations. You are also angels from heaven as well. You will also find a card for Putter sent to him from my oldster who watches the kitty cam with me daily. Her name is Nancy. She is almost 17 years old and is my sweet angel. What great, what greater gift than the love of a cat? And that's, yep, that's from Charles Dickens. We miss him dearly, but cherish the 15 years we had with him. Have a wonderful Christmas. Happy holidays from Miss Chi Sam. Oh. So here we've got one couple of them that are in envelopes. Oh, this is really awesome. 
and these are from her kids then. This is my whole family. This is from Elizabeth. We'll just look at a few. Dear Hannah, Merry Christmas. Dear Hannah, Happy Holidays. This is a picture of you. I hope you like it. Uh, dear Hannah, this is my whole family. This is really awesome. Isn't that awesome? And here's another one. Happy Christmas. I drew a picture of you and I made made you a rainbow and cars and planes. <sighs> oh my golly. This could make me cry. Cars and planes. Oh, you got some good kids in your classroom. Thank you. I just think this is awesome. Thank you. And uh, we'll make sure that Hannah gets every single one of these. This is really, this is what, this is what we like to do. Promote some good things for other people too. So I'm going to stick that in there and put Hannah's thing there. Are you helping me? I think you're, you're getting into my stuff here, buddy. And these are for Hannah also. There's a card in there from Hannah. And these are all for Hannah. These are those bead designs. I'll turn it around so you can see it. These are really awesome. These are fun. So there's four boxes of these, and we'll include this too. I am so excited about all of this for Hannah. Um, whoops, wait a minute. Just so I keep everything straight, we're going to put all those things in there. Okay. I think I got it covered now. Thank you. That, Robin, is just absolutely mind-boggling to me. Thank you for doing that. That's, that's really wonderful. Okay, now, which one should we do next, KW? This one? Okay. This is from Ron R., and Ron is from Connecticut. Boy, you guys are good, good tapers. I know when I tape, tape up boxes to send out to you guys, I feel like I use a ton of tape, and it probably costs me more money <laughs> to send things because I'm, I'm kind of tape happy. Let's see what we got in here. Are you going to help me too there, Peach? Uh, are you going to help me? This one is to for us here for the volunteers. Mary. Oh, I love these kind of cards. Check it out and see how it changes. Ha ha ha. Merry Christmas. To Jackie and all the volunteers. This is from Cicely and Ron. We found the FFRC website on Ustream in September and have since become addicted to watching and listening to the daily activities at FFRC. We have become quite attached to the resident cats, Sheriff Putter, Queen Bella, the Patties, and the others. It is nice to know that they will be there whenever we look in. We have tried not to become too attached to the new arrivals, but as you know all well, it is hard to watch Cobbus do, <laughs> do his plate art, Tukey sleeping in the purple puff, or Weasley scream for breakfast and not miss them when they go to their forever homes. Watching you and the volunteers interact with each other and the cats, we also feel that we have gotten to know the resident people at FFRC quite well, too. You are a wonderful group. Thank you for what you do so well, and thank you for letting us be a part of it. Not only do we get to watch, but you chat with us and let us participate in activities like nightly box, night, nightly box time and the Patty's World Tour. Great fun. You and all the volunteers take such good care of the cats and extended animal family at the center. I think that is why we and literally hundreds of others love watching FFRC. The center is filled with warmth and kindness and love that reaches out through the camera. Merry Christmas to you all, and may, and may the new year bring prosperity, health, cats, good homes, and happiness to everyone at FFRC. Sincerely, Cecily and Ron. Thank you. That, that card means a lot to me. Thank you very, very much. Are you going to keep track of all these for me? Mm -hmm. 
And this one's to Steve and me, so I'll I'll open that up with Steve later. Oh, this is nice. Thank you. This is uh, this is uh, to help with the shipping, some of the shipping charges, and uh, two. Uh, ooh, look how thick that envelope is. Two envelopes for Hannah, and this must be um, a box for Hannah. Ooh, wonder what it is. Okay, um, you know. Um, I'm probably going to get a bigger box and we're going to put everything together. So this is Hannah's pile right here. Um, thank you so very much for the letter, the cards, and Hannah's things. That's really awesome. We'll have to have Hannah, Hannah and her mom um, give us a report afterwards when they get done opening all their wonderful fun things. Whoops, I'm not doing a very good job here. I think my I think the leg's getting dull again. This is from oh this is from Buddy Bo. Buddy Bo who lives in North Carolina. Oh Kurt, what were you saying today if we had any more of cat dancers? Yeah. Did you know this? Yeah. <laughs> Kurt was asking me today if we had any more cat dancers, and I told him no because these over here are just are really bad. They're all sprung. I'm just gonna leave them, leave them out. That's yeah, really funny. Okay, that's really funny, buddy Bo. That's really cool. Here is my family: four girls and one boy. You can see who the boy is. It's got to be the boy. Got to be the orange one, Joey. Oh, look at look at those gorgeous cats. Boy, aren't they beautiful? Yeah, I love getting these pictures. Thank you. So their name is Missy, which is my favorite cat's name. Baby, Prissy, Joey, and Christy. Boy, they are good-looking kitty cats. Dugster, what's your favorite? <gasps> Dugster is a thief. <laughs> Dugster, Kurt's Dugster boy, he is an out-and-out -out thief of food. Um... This is from Irene H., North Carolina. This is for Hannah. And New River Air Station, Jacksonville, Jacksonville, North Carolina. Says, hi, all at FFRC. We are 15 miles from the ocean, so come visit us. This is from Buddy Bo. And Buddy, I will put this up on our cork board. Badu. And we also have a card for the volunteers. Oh, this feels like one of those extra fun ones. I love you. Uh, this says, have a Merry Christmas and give all the kitties a hug for me. Oh, and this says, online surprise, instructions on back of card. Watch this card come to life on your computer. Just take this card and go online. Oh, I'll have to do that later. Do you like that? Thank you, buddy, Bo. Thank you. You know when um, Kellen comes here, uh, she's been checking out all the cards. And uh, she loves those musical ones. Actually, last week when she had that surgery, I took one of the musical ones with me. And uh, she loved it. She kept that in her hand for the longest time, and the battery stayed good. And uh, it was a, I was glad that I thought about taking that. This one is from Jennifer S. from Virginia. From Virginia. Hey, what are you doing doing that, bouncing around? Hey, KW, can I use your... Hello? Whoops, something's coming out. Oh, this looks like something that might have a goodie in it. Oh, wow. Keep Octavia away. I wanted to, I just wanted to send you and the volunteers some ginger sugar cookies. Oh, man. To say thank you and some food for the kitties. Finding the webcam is helping to heal my broken heart. Back in October, my dog, Casey, died. He would have been 13 in February. I wish there was more I could do to help. You know, you you all, um, you all do a tremendous amount of things for us. Um, please know that even I mean, just 
just being here with us is wonderful and your votes are awesome and these things are awesome that you guys do for us and this this is uh, Casey Mott Casey Mott is the, her webcam name and this is her doggy Casey he's a beauty yeah that's a nice looking doggy oh he looks very happy you want to share a ginger ginger cookie? Oh. Oh. These are one of my favorites. Oh, check this out. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Hope you guys aren't hungry. If you was here, I'd share them with you. Yeah, thank you. I love these. And um, I'm telling you, the volunteers are getting a huge kick out of all the goodies that's been showing up in pin one from you all. Oh, Putter's sitting down here and he's waving his head like that, catching the smells of the gingers. You can I don't think you would want one of these, Putter. Oh don't oh don't come over here, Putter. You're making me sad now. Um and she also sent some of the um friskies <clears throat> with the gravy and a skitter critters. Skitter critters are the catnip tor mice. And we'll get those out, and I'm going to go ahead and put these in the counter cupboard because I can use these for breakfast tomorrow. Hi, Bobby. Hi, Bobby. You guys can have those mousies later. So thank you, Casey Mock. I I appreciate that so very much, and and like your picture of of your Casey doggy. Um, we should do this. This came today. And it was um, very intriguing to me. It's from the Swiss Colony. Oh, oh, here's the note. Merry Christmas to all the wonderful people at FFRC from Beverly G. And I didn't get to read, go over my notes that I have on the wall, but this, it is from Beverly G. And it's from the Swiss Colony. And it came just like this. This is how it was sent. Oh, Potter. <laughs> Potter, you're cracking me up, buddy. You are cracking me up. Oh, um, yum. Well, I'm just going to have to go ahead and open these because, um, oops, I'm not very good at that. Ah, ah, ah. Because, uh, <laughs> maybe I won't. Okay, I might. It might take more. Here, Kurt, you want to open that? And I think we need new knives. We're gonna put Kurt to work again. We just have to see what's in it, and then I'll put. It says refrigerate on that one, <clears throat> so I'll put a note on the pin over there that there's things in the refrigerator for the volunteers. I was trying to make it harder than what it really was. But yeah, I think the knives are getting more. Oh, yeah. The cutter is in very intrigued. Oh. oh. Check that out. Can you guys read that? I bet you you guys can smell this, too. Mm-mm-mm. I'll leave. Do I have one now? No. Okay. We're, we, I would definitely, I think this is supposed to be refrigerated. So, okay. We'll put a note on the refrigerator. Or, no, we'll put a note on the pin one that, um, that there's goodies in the fridge for the volunteers. See, when you guys might see me sneak out at night, that's what I'm doing. Just going over to pin one and scarfing up some of this badu. What are you doing, buddy? Buddy girl. <laughs> oh, nuts. Um, the volunteers that we have, they are. Uh, mm 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 mm. Mm. These are good. Um, we are nut eaters around here. We love them. Mm, thank you. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm going to put that there. Do not push it off. 
We're going to get spoiled here. What do you think, my dear? Broke my fingernail. Don't you think it's more fun to use the knife? <laughs> oh, come on. Almost got it. I think one more tug. One more. There we go. Oh, these, oh, I think I know what these are. Um, yeah, butter toffee. Oh, these will be another one of my favorites. Mmm, oh gosh, I wish I could push these through the cam and share these all with you. Mmm, mmm. <clears throat> and, yeah, this is from Beverly G. Beverly, you are top notch. Love all the yummies. Oh, this one says refrigerated too? Okay. So if you see me getting in the refrigerator tonight, you'll know why. Boy. We're um we're all gonna gain twenty pounds this winter this Christmas. Um Neil and Anna Marie, this one I you've got addressed to Steve Moss and family, so I'll open up this with Steve later um tonight when he gets back. Um I think we have some Hannah cards in here. Let's take those out first. Kurt had these all organized for me, and I probably messed them up. Okay, we've got this one from Kathy G. from Michigan for Hannah. Uh, this one is for Hannah. Lori W. from, I'm getting better at these, okay, from Massachusetts. Lori W. from Massachusetts. That's for a, a Hannah card. This is for Hannah. Forsyth from Texas. I recognize that name. Spangler is from Ohio for Hannah. Oh, this is from Mama 3 Cat. This is for Hannah. And Mama 3 Cat is from Colorado. Mmm, something very interesting in there. Um, okay, I think. What does, does anybody remember what number we were up to on cards yesterday? Wasn't that 87? I think it was 87. 89 or so, 89, so 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 99. Well, I haven't put my card in yet, so we're for sure going to have 100 cards at least for Hannah. No fear. We're back up. Kurt's going to try to figure out why it's doing that. And you know, he's going to add an update to it, and hopefully that won't happen again. Um, this, oh golly, I'm so sorry. Sometimes I'm bad on reading. This is from Gladys, and correct me if I'm wrong, I think it says New Fix or New Jill. And maybe you guys might know which one that is, but it's it's Gladys. I'm, I watch FFRC every day and evening and try to get um, something to watch. Oh, and watch and up to get, I'm sorry, up to watch the feeding of the kitties every morning. As it is three hours difference, is it is around 1.30 a.m. your time. Haven't been in chat for a while due to hubby being sick and was in hospital for 44 days. 
got home on November 22nd. I have a kitty, nine years old, that we adopted in January. Her name is Sassy, nine years old. I see in the in the um, last few evenings when the cam is on, she watches the kitties. You do uh, a great. Oh, you do have a great group of volunteers. I love what you all do for these kitties. I also vote twice a day. I hope that you will win the prize this time. Hugs, take care, and all the best. And uh, my favorite is is Putter the Sheriff. Wishing you all the best this Christmas season and for 2012. Thank you very much, Gladys. I appreciate that. There's four puppy dogs and one kitty in the in the sled. Hey, what happened to your bed in there? Oh, and this is from Wildfire. Yeah, Wildfire, I, I betcha, is on. And Wildfire, for those that don't know, is from Texas. Joy expressed, love shared, a miracle celebrated. It's been such a pleasure to watch the FFRC camp this past year. We've laughed together, cried together, and celebrated all the wonderful adoptions together. Thank you for welcoming us all into your world and treating us like family. I appreciate you allowing us to learn along the way. Your rescue center is definitely one of a kind, and it obviously is your passion and dedication, as well as the passion and dedication of all the volunteers. Thank you for all the love you and the volunteers pass out or give out to the vo to the kitties. I'm enclosing pictures of my kitties. Hannah is a six-year-old tabby white girl. She has oh, feline herpes, but it doesn't slow her down at all. She's a little love bug. I'm um, something believed. Oh, turn. Oh, I'm sorry, wildfire. I'm. Oh, tumbleweed. Tumbleweed is a year and a half little brown tabby with a disposition much like Cabez. Oh boy, you got your hands full. He was flushed out of the drain during Hurricane Alex in 2010. He climbed into the wheel of the SUV, stopped at a red light in front of the car this rescuer was in. She got out in the pouring rain and grabbed him from the tire wheel. We're so thankful to have him. Oh man. May you, your family, and the volunteers have a very wonderful Christmas season. Mark and Stephanie and Hannah, Grace, and Tumbles. And we know that this is Wildfire, our, our camp friend. Oh, wow. Check out Hannah Grace. Oh, 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 Asha, I'm so sorry, baby. She's a beauty. She is a beauty. Oh, and this one is Tumbleweed, a.k.a. Tumbles, 18 months in pure ornery. Check out that one. Thank you. Thank you for that, Wild. Uh, this one, we got just a couple more, is from, oh, Lou Beth. Lou Beth 12, who is from... <laughs> Why do I have trouble with that one? I say it ten times a day. Massachusetts. New Beth from Massachusetts. Oh, oh, we saw this one. I love this card. Oh, to you and your family, all the kitties and all the animals inside and out and all the volunteers, thanks for everything you do. Merry Christmas. And this is Lou Beth. Chloe and Binks. Oh! <laughs> Binks is 10 years old and Chloe is 12 years old. The doggy is 12. Isn't this fun to be able to see everybody's kitties and doggies? Oh, this is from Dawn. Dawn is one of our volunteers. She was here this morning. I was a little short on help this morning and Dawn miraculously showed up and helped us. God's love. A Christmas gift donation. This is from Dawn. Dawn S., who is our one of our volunteers and friends. Uh, and she, uh, Carolina, if you could also put, she made a donation. Wishing you all a Merry Christmas and a New Year filled with many blessings. 
and this is her kitty Ruby. Whoops, wait a minute. I'm so sorry. No, it is this way. He's laying, she's laying down sleeping. Isn't that a pretty one? Look how shiny the fur is. Thank you, Dawn. It's nice you guys get to see all our kitties, and it's nice for us to see your kitties. Uh, Tuki. This is from Tuki. This is the Spangler family that adopted our Tuki. Last Christmas, I swallowed a ball of yarn. Oh, yeah? What happened? I had mittens. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Uh, this is Franklin Cat. Um, and uh, from Tuki, Lucy, Ethel, and Jasmine. Oh, check it out. There's our Tuki girl. Remember Tuki? She was just a baby when they took her. Just a baby. And this is Jasmine. That's a three-year-old that was a stray. And this is Lucy, nine years old. Maine Coon got from Pet Finders. Boy, that's a beauty. But none of them's as pretty as Tuki. And Ethel is also a nine-year-old Maine Coon. And Lucy and Ethel are litter mates. Hey, now we know who, who Tuki lives with. And last again, we got to do Tuki one more time. There's our Tuki girl. Yeah, that's nice. Thank you, Connie, and your family. Um, me, oh, this is um, this is from Manly. They they live in De in Defiance. I just saw her today. They've adopted uh, cats from us also. And Merry Christmas. Thank you for all you have done for Trouble and Minky and Pringle. Do you guys remember them? Trouble, Minky, and Pringle. Um, the, do some of you remember them? Yeah, they, they, these were wonderful cats. A Pringle was the last one that they adopted from us. Thank you. This is Lori and John. John's that real tall guy that comes. And they always, of course, come together. And uh, they spend a lot of time just petting and playing with the kitties. This is from our volunteer, Greg, our Wednesday and Saturday afternoon person. Oh, Greg loves, loves the kitties. Jackie and all the volunteers, thanks for another fun year. Many improvements and changes to make the kitties and cats' lives better. And thanks to all of our viewers who, who support us 100%. Greg. Greg's an awesome guy. We sure do think a lot of him. Um, this is from Kathy, or her cam name is Cat 08801, and Cat is from uh, Michigan. And I think this is our last one. Hmm, these could be some of our kitties here. Um, that is. Let's see who you are. That's the trap right here. Yeah, I think that's... Here. There you go. We're just going to move it for a minute. That's Pumpkin playing with the track. Oh, um... Oh. <laughs> this is uh, from Binks. Black, domestic, long hair, two years old. And my mom, Cat. Oh, I, or I, it might be C-A-T-O-8801. And she also sent a gift card from the movie theater that Steve and I go to, and it says for date night. Thank you. That's really awesome of you to do that. Thank you. I appreciate that. That's really nice. I, I really appreciate that. Steve and I like, I think we like to go once in a while. Well, not off in the movie, but popcorn's always good, and I think it's just to be able to get away. Um, so that's what we have tonight. Oh, yes. Hang on. I have two kitty cats to show you. Hey guys. Oh. I know. I know. Polio. Polio is here. P-A-U-L-L-I-O. And Polio is just a little grumbly little bit new here 
and uh, just really not quite sure what's going on. She's got a wet neck because I put her front line on her tonight. Or actually, it's um, it's okay, honey. It's all right. Just relax. What are we going to do? It's all right. Okay. you got a big day ahead of you, Polio, tomorrow. Yeah, you do. Come on. Here, why don't you try it out your new mom? Okay? <laughs> and this is Remora. Remora is um she's just oh, she's a just a really cool girl. No Polio is a girl. Yeah, Polio is a girl. Um we discussed that this morning and thought that that could be a girl's name too. It's kind of a unisex name. And this one is uh, Remora, and she was she really looked like she was black and gray when she came in. She was really dirty. Hi there, isn't she cute? No, you haven't done that at all. What's the matter? Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, is a, is a polio rubbing off on you a little bit? I don't think so. I think you're going to be just fine. This one was just a purring and a purring all day. I think she'll be okay. I'm not worried about this. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Let's go over here. Yeah. You want to try that? Oh, now stop. I think we might separate you two. Um, I just want to thank everybody for all the support that you give us. Um, you guys are all awesome. And... Uh, I just wanted to just wanted to ask one thing and uh, I just would like everybody's help in that when newcomers come on that we always welcome them please I don't always get to get on chat I don't always have the time to be able to do it but you guys have all been really good about welcoming everybody and you know the more the more we grow here um, and the more people that join us, I think it's awesome and it's wonderful. But sometimes when you grow and you get more and more people involved, sometimes it's hard to, um, you know, we all come from different backgrounds and different places. And one thing said one way and one thing said another may um, mean a little bit different things to others. So we just have to be patient with each other on the chat. We all come from different backgrounds, and yeah, I like that. Put out the welcome mat. There's so many people from all around the world, and this whole place is about finding homes for our kitties. The more homes we can find, the more adopt more kitties we can take in, but it's also the reason that we wanted to do the CAM was to promote this rescue center and to invite you in here, and we've we have gladly personalized it for everybody. We love it. And we want people to join us because they enjoy watching the kitties and the cats. I think we get a lot of joy from you all. And I hope that you all get a lot of joy from what we do here. But I, I know that when you work with a large amount of people that sometimes um, things maybe people get their feelings hurt once in a while or things that are said that are might be misconstrued but just be patient with everybody and um, uh, just help each other out you know and if there is a problem you can email me always or PM one of the moderators uh, we try to do the very best that we can and uh, I just, <laughs> my thing is always, I just want everybody to get along is what I tell everyone. We just love what we do here with a passion. And we just, we just want everybody else to enjoy it too along here with us. I think you guys are awesome. Um, I never thought when we started this, it's like two years now, uh, that we would meet, well, you know, and it's one thing to grow and that's wonderful but what I am what I am totally think is awesome is that the friendships we've all made and it's not just you guys with me and me with you know you it's the friendships that you chatters are making between yourselves 
and I I just think that's phenomenal. Um, it makes my heart happy, and I'm just really pleased that that we can all be here together. So if there is a problem, just try to maybe step back and kind of evaluate a little bit, and always welcome the newbies. If there's questions that you can't answer, maybe somebody else will be able to on there. Um, yeah, we just we just we just want everybody to be to be happy and to enjoy this. Thank you guys. You guys are all awesome. And uh I'm very happy to be a part of this. <laughs> so yeah, that's right. Just take a big deep breath, count to ten and then go ahead and chat. You know, this is something else I wanted to share with you all too. Um I have been getting so many emails from people that just make my day. Uh, a lot of times some of our webcam viewers are such where they're homebound or just in a position where they they can't really get out and about much or can't can't be uh, can't have a cat in their home and this is their neat thing to have in their life and it just thrills me and makes me so happy that we can provide this joy for you all like that. Um, I'm just I'm just very happy to be able to share these kitties with you all. So thank you all and uh, um, we're going to have a busy day tomorrow. Uh, we're working on pet finders. Actually I kind of jumped the gun a little bit in the morning or, or I had jumped the gun today and some of the kitties that were already uh, are on the spay neuter uh, list for tomorrow. I've already got them in uh, the pet finders and Kurt's working hard on getting and, and Amy also helps us on getting the um, pictures matched up with them. So we're getting them. We're getting them all caught up. Yes. Oh, and I wanted to tell you, yes, Jeepers. Jeepers got adopted. You know how he's had a couple uh, people interested in him, but they hadn't turned out. And <laughs> You guys, I'm trying to read while I'm talking, so that's why I'm stammering some. You guys are just awesome. You just make me happy. Yeah, we do. We we uh, like Tic Tacs tomorrow. <laughs> um, but Jeepers, this guy that came in this morning, it was a wonderful fella, and he really liked Jeepers. And what I got such a kick out of is while he and I was going over some things, I asked Kirsten, one of my granddaughters, to... Uh, to keep track of Jeepers, and she held him for the longest time, just walked around with him, draped over her arm, and uh, it was just so cute. I just loved it. Uh, and the other thing I wanted to let you know, too, is that we finally got it done with Noogie and Nuki. They did get to go down to Uncle Eric's, and I'm excited as all get out because his sister is there also for the holiday and she loves, loves, loves cats. She has helped him before uh, work on these shy kitties. And Nuki and Nugi are in for some major TLC down there. They've got family, and they are all completely uh, cat people. So it's going to be a really good thing. Um, I'm just real thankful that we have this, this, this outlet you know or this uh this connection that we have with him because i it's rare that i foster anything out but this one is a little different he helps us with specific needs of cats and it's a really good thing so uh we'll keep you posted and uh you guys are just awesome i just think that think a lot of all of you thank you for joining us and uh i'm gonna go ahead and get clean things cleaned up because i've got a uh, two hours of driving tomorrow to Indiana, and I want to get us some sleep. Is Eric single? Uh, yes, he is, actually. <laughs> uh, maybe he will take Tasco. You know, Tasco's really an awesome cat. He's just overly lovely, loving sometimes. You guys are all very welcome. Yeah, you'll be watching us work on all the post ops because we're going to have to. Oh, oh, Carolina. Thank you, thank you. Carolina has a story for that she wants me to read. Thanks, Carolina, for reminding me. And I also wanted to give you an update. I got the pet finders. 
uh, update, and I was going to do this yesterday, and boy, that was went too fast. Uh, this past week, we had 2,499, uh, um, <laughs> uh, what do you call that? Views. Viewers, but it's called something else, too. Page but anyhow, views. total views. Page views. Page, page views. Um, for Pet Finders, that's a one short of 2,500 from, from Pet Finders. And Tasco, that little stinker pot, is number one again. Badu is second at 119. Anani is 114. Wiggles is 104. Emmeline is way up there at the top again. She's in fifth place. And it just goes, there's, we got three pages, parts of three pages on all this. So, um, it's just awesome. So we've got some families coming in tomorrow that's going to be looking at Kitty. So while I'm in and out helping with the surgeries. I'm also going to be helping with uh, uh, some of the adoptions that's going on too. So Carolina Ash sent this to me. I I didn't get a chance to read it all yet, but she asked me to read this tonight. So uh, I read the first two paragraphs. Sounded kind of fun, and I understand. I think that Carolina made this up herself. So I will read it. It says, "'Twas the night before Christmas when all through the center, not a creature was stirring, not even Sheriff Putter. <laughs> the kitty stockings were hung along the counter with care in hopes that the UPS man soon would be there. The kitties were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of organic catnip danced in their heads. And Jackie in her nightgown and Steve in his cap had just settled in for a well-deserved nap. When out on the farm there arose such a clatter, they both sprang from, from the bed to see what was the matter. Above at his window, Kurt appeared like a flash. He threw open the windows and hefted the sash. The moon, bright as midday on the new fallen snow, made everything bling and sparkle like Stacy had been at work below. <laughs> When did, when, what did they spy where the back door was lit? But a miniature mail truck and eight more behind it. With a bunch of hyper drivers in different accents, they yammered. Jackie knew in a minute it must be the webcamers. Bearing carts full of presents into the center, they came, laughing and sighing and calling the kitties by names. Hi, Farah. Hi, Asha. Look, there's patty cakes and purr. Oh, Bella, oh, Twinkle, I found Donna and Weasley. Hey, it's time to focus. We've got a job to do, y'all. Let's empty those trucks and bring in our haul. With precision and energy only coffee could provide, they hurried back out to empty their rides. Back and forth they trudged as quick as foxes. Soon the room had filled up with boxes. And each time they entered and exited the door, the bell chimed and dinged even more. Jackie was stunned and still as could be. How did they all get there here to surprise me? This would be an awesome dream. They were all bundled up in winter coats and hats, their clothing covered with fur from their cats. <laughs> oh, I like that. Mine's always covered with fur from my cats. They had boxes of all sizes, big and little, and a bunch of boxes with a size in the middle. Their eyes twinkled with mischief, bright and merry. They seemed kind of magical, like some kind of fairy. Their trucks seemed to be never-ending. The gifts they unloaded just kept a-coming. This must be like well, all of this UPS you guys send us all the time. This is, I love this. Kurt watched from his window, a smirk on his face. He knew what had brought them all to this place. There was food and litter. No cat would go without. Something for everyone, there was no doubt. The web cameras felt such unity and love. These were the kitties and people they'd grown fond of. They wanted to do good and help when they could. Love for the animals was something they all understood. Eventually, they were running out of items to bring. The doorbell was slowly losing its ding. <laughs> they stopped for one last pet and a cuddle, leaving behind soft kitty puddles. Oh, Jackie snapped too and went to get dressed, but she was too late and gone were her guests. They tooted their horns and shouted as they drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. This is awesome. 
Carolina Ash. This is awesome. What a cool story. You guys, you do keep our UPS guy happy and busy. You guys, um, he probably wonders what what all we do with everything. If he would just step in, he would see how many kitties we have to take care of. So this is cool. I'm going to hang this up for the for the webcamers. Carolina Ash, thank you for doing this. You webcamers have helped us and provided for us for so much, and I don't know what we do without you all. You've helped us so much here. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, this is cool. I'm, maybe I'll dream this tonight, you guys. Thank you. All right, I'm going to clean up, and what do you want? What do you want? Thank you, and uh, I'm going to get Hannah's things, too. I'll, I'll uh, have to come up with a box to put all of her stuff in. Our sack, the, our, our, that real cute bag that was made for Hannah has uh, expanded so much I don't think we can get one more card squished in. So um, we'll look for a bigger box this weekend for her. Thank you everybody. Good night and I appreciate every, every single one of you. Thank you. This is hilarious. <laughs> oh.